May 9th, 2022. This is after four days of boot camp in Bangalore, boot camp number nine. CB sir and myself are headed towards Palakkad, and we thought of having a chat around what's happening in the world of hydroponics. So let's meet up, CB sir. What's Hi, up? <laughs> Hi sir. Hi guys. Sir, uh, so. After boot camp nine, I think uh, we plan to go to Palakkad, and I, I heard you saying that you've got a visit on the way at Salem somewhere. Yeah, I've got a I got a visit in this and just came up suddenly. Uh, there seems to have been a big disaster and tragedy that happened in terms of uh, you know somebody in Salem area losing uh, some big time. Money going for hydroponics and all the Rolls Royce systems that have been given to them, and uh, they were promised uh, they were promised that they will be given hand holding for a minimum of at least three months, but that did not happen. And only equipment was sold. Like I always say, pipe and uh, hype hype created uh, a lot of interest, and pipe got sold. And finally, <laughs> they are left with only pipe. So they asked me, CV sir, can you now come and help us and just do a quick audit and let us know how you can help us. So it's a 11,000 square feet area, so just about over one quarter of an acre, and uh, they have put in you know Dutch buckets and NFT and all kinds of crops all inside one single poly house. It's a mess of mess to say the least it's a mess because what from what i hear i'll be actually uh, knowing more in another half an hour when i'm at the farm and uh, the pictures that were sent to me shows exactly how people are being fooled in this industry there are almost i think close to if i from what my eyes could see in the pictures they're close to about 10 to 12 crops being grown inside the same poly house wine crops uh, leafy vegetables growing in all kinds of crazy systems. I do not know how people get carried away like this and lose money. But nevertheless, uh, I've been now called since I was going to Palakkad and Salem happens to be on the way. Uh, they asked me, can you sir, please, if you don't mind, stop for half an hour. Just look at our farm and let us know what we can do, how, how you can help us. So I'm just trying to, I'm on a damage control mission as usual. And uh, this is the third damage control uh, mission in the less than 45 days where I've been called. It looks like now the industry is now slowly understanding that people are just out and out to just sell uh, equipment and technology in the name of, I mean, you know, covering it up by saying that it's very simple, there's not much effort involved, all these kind of bullshit. So, um, I'm going to be seeing something. I know what I'm going to see. I've already got something in my mind. Um, rest, of course, we can talk about as far as what I saw late on a, later after the visit on the way, way to Palakkad. I'm sure you can make another video wherein I'll be talking about what I really saw. However, um, so when I asked this client, I mean, this customer um, as to how the hell did you get this done? Who did it for you? Then they said it's some company from Bangalore. I won't take names, but uh, they are supposed to be very famous in terms of marketing and sales. But I really don't know how much they know about growing plants. Uh, well, uh, these are the kind of uh, people who are in the market making a fool and ass out of people. And uh, as you know, I'm a I'm a one one person who fights against all these kind of things, and it's a very hard battle for me because it's like one one is to ninety nine, one person swimming in the opposite direction against 99 different guys. So it's been very, very, uh, it's, I'm looking forward to this visit, Rajiv, and uh, I'll keep you posted on the next video, guys, and I'll tell you exactly what I saw. And uh, if I can, I'll definitely try to uh, reju rejuvenate uh, or bring back or refresh that farm and try to give them a semblance of uh, hope. So, right, guys, so that's, that's all. I mean, that's what my visit is all about. Thank you. Thank you, sir. And sir, these uh, damage control uh, are these like mostly SOS calls to you, or how how do they reach out to you? 
you see what happens is rajiv these guys uh, they they get carried away by the excel sheet all the return on investment you know i just showed you in the morning mm. the client has sent the excel sheet mm. and if you look at the excel sheet it's a it's an absolute bloody lie i mean the kind of pricing and what they they tell the client can expect uh, from the market and things like that they make it look so rosy mm. and uh, well there's guys who called me right now they are saying that they have not made one rupee from this pro- project i'm sure they must have spent at least close to 25 30 lakhs and in 30 lakhs you without by using simple hydroponics you can do wonders mm. so it's good because you know i am happy that uh, i'm being called and most of these are sos calls okay um uh, like you know a uh, drowning man uh, he will just clutch on to a straw mm. so they think that i am the straw so let me see i'm i'm a very strong straw so i don't think they will pull me down with them but i'm sure i'll be able to pull them up so let's see rajiv what happens i mean uh, we'll be played by the year and uh, i'll keep you posted them I mean, and i will keep people posted about our this visit uh, after we finish the visit on the way to palakkad you can definitely interview me and ask me questions and i'll be only too happy to answer so that's it guys uh, this is cv from cv hydro all right thank you so much guys stay tuned for the part 2 the version 2 we are going to the farm right now and uh, we'll be there in about 20 25 minutes cvs are would be exploring it assessing the farm evaluating it and then while we are returning back from palakkad we'll come back to you with another video with covering a lot of insights about what went wrong and how uh, all of this happened so stay tuned thank you for watching bye guys